I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Thursday, May 31st. And in this last video of the week, uh, we're going to look at uh, Tosco, as I call it, tractor supply. Um, here's why. Look, the stock looks like it's at a, you know, a, a, a short-term low here. We got two big down days on uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, followed by this little up day um, today. You can loop, look in here. So is this a time to buy the stock? Well, guess what? In my view, it depends on what your time frame is. If you're a long-term holder, no, I don't think so. I think the stock goes lower, and this is why. This is your resistance. This was the support, well, right here. Now it's support there, then it's support here. Finally, it's support clear down here. Stock has continued to make lower lows, all the while reestablishing continually these highs at a hundred bucks. So each time the stock has fallen, it's had to climb farther in order to get back to a hundred bucks. But it has done that. It's taken a lot of buying. It's successively greater buying pressure after a decline to push the stock up to that same level. Well, look at the volume today. Huge volume today. Stock bounced off of yesterday's low and is starting to move higher again. Well, after this kind of buying volume, how much more buying pressure is there that's going to be sufficient to get the stock clear up? That's 11% from where it is now, only to push up to 100 bucks and do what? Push through? I don't think so. The point is, this is a stock. It's, you know, it's not, typically it's not that liquid, though four and a half million shares traded today is pretty good. But this is actually a stock that's setting up to be a pretty nice shorting opportunity. Not right now, but if the stock runs up closer to 100 bucks, the closer to $100 you can get a short off on this, in my view, the better trade you're going to have. You just have to make sure, and I'll always, you know, every once in a while I'll, you know, hear from somebody who says, oh, I followed you on such and such a trade. You lost me a lot of money. Well, they never call me when they say I made them a lot of money. So, um, but, so I have to say this though, if you are shorting the stock, okay, and the stock goes up to $130, you're not losing 30 bucks. Why? Because you're putting a buy stop at about 101, 102 bucks. As soon as you see this stock start to tick up above 100 bucks, you are out. You say, well, I was shorting off the top here. I was shorting off of this move up to 100 bucks, which has always failed uh, in the past. So I get up here at around 99 bucks or so. The stock I thought was rolling over, so I went ahead and shorted it. Oh, darn it, it ran up. Well, you didn't get killed by this. All you did was you lost a couple bucks, which is good trading. You know, okay, not every good trade results in a, uh, in a profit. Some of the good trades are actually losing um, trades. It's just that you made the right decision in getting in and getting out. Trade just didn't work out. Um, that's why they call it trading as opposed to winning. Um, so anyway, that's it for this video. And uh, guys, go to the strategy session. I talk, uh, there's a really, really super key concept in there that I mentioned. Um, and so I'm not going to go into any more detail here. Just listen to the strategy session.